Hey Trailblazers, Storm Disaster has been out for a week and I've been playing it a bunch. I've been able to complete all the missions and cleared it with every path except for Hunt. I want to share with you my thoughts on each path and how I rate each one. I'll be judging each path on three categories, Offense, Defense, and Ease of Use. Offense and Defense are self-explanatory. Ease of Use is a combination of how consistent the path is, how fast the clear time is, and the team comp restrictions. The scoring will be from 1 to 5, with 5 being the best. Let's go in alphabetical order. So the first path we look at is Abundance. It should be no surprise that I rate this path highly. It was the first path I cleared difficulty 5 with, and I made a whole video about it. Abundance scores a 4 out of 5 in each category. Dewdrop Blessings give Abundance a lot of damage, and you're always at full health. It's not a perfect 5 on defense, because you can still be one shot if you don't have help from destruction. Abundance is very consistent because of the mercy mechanic. It's very likely that you get all the blessings you need, but the damage can be low before you get the dewdrop blessings. Next up is Destruction. I rated it 3 on offense, 4 on defense, and 4 on ease of use. The offensive blessings are strong, but because you want to heal up, it's hard to take full advantage of them. Defensively, Destruction does a great job at keeping you alive at low health with emergency shields and extra defense. Playing Destruction is pretty easy as well, because you can collect a lot of buffs by going through the elite zones. If there's a zone across the map that you can't get to, you can always cheat your dice row to get its rewards. Elation can be a very powerful path, but it's also very risky. I rated it 5 on offense because aftertaste blessings scale up extremely high, to the point where the path ability can almost one-shot the smaller bugs. Once you get the blessing that turns alts into follow-up attacks, every character becomes a DPS character. The issue with Elation is that it has very few defensive blessings, and the dice abilities are by far the worst. Happiness buffs turn zones into reward or adventure zones, which have a very high variance of what rewards you get. You're relying on a lot of luck for a successful Elation run. Unfortunately for Hunt, it has the downsides of the Elation path without any of the benefits. In Swarm Disaster, crit damage scaling just isn't that good. It gets outshone by Aftertaste, to drop and spores. If you have an extremely strong E6 S5 carry, they'll still probably do more damage on a different path. The only redeeming part of Hunt is a blessing that action advances your characters on weakness break, but you can easily splash for that in a different path. Hunt does give you some control on your map movements with different movement abilities. However, the Trotter Zone swapping spaces is more annoying than it is helpful. The Hildy is a really fun path to play. Dots with Suspicion debuff can deal a lot of damage, so it gets a 4 in offense. Nihility is surprisingly tanky because of several damage debuff and healing blessings. Of course, Nihility works best with dot damage characters like Kafka, but you can actually rely on the path ability for your main source of dot. I was able to clear difficulty 5 with only Hook as my dot enabler. The downside to Nihility is that the blank space map mechanic has a lot of randomness, so it's hard to consistently get all the blessings that you need. Preservation is one of the safest paths to choose. The reason is simple, you just don't die. However, damage wise, it's not the best. Quake is just not as quite as strong as other buffs, especially if you don't have Jepard. The path's cornerstone mechanic on the map is actually really strong, but you have to know how to use it. You need to plan out your path so you can correctly apply cornerstone buffs to the zones that you're not going to travel on. If you do it correctly, you can easily get over 10 free blessings when you enter the boss domain. Propagation, in my opinion, is a stronger version of Elation. Both are high damage, weak defense paths, but Propagation is a lot more consistent. The damage from Spores is high and you can get a chain reaction of explosions once one of the smaller bugs die. The dice abilities let you quickly spread swarm zones across the map and jump to the boss domain to collect a bunch of blessings. It's actually uncommon for you to not collect all of the Propagation blessings when choosing this path. Even though I do not have Imbibitor Lune or Qinxia to take full advantage of the attack buffs, I used the path ability to action advance my welt so that I could toughness break and action delay the boss before they did their ultimate attack. Team comp restrictions is the main downside of propagation. Lastly, we have Remembrance, which I rate as a weaker version of preservation. Once you get all your freeze and disassociation blessings, you pretty much have a guaranteed win. The problem is getting there and the path does not help you get your blessings. The trick to playing this path is to ignore the cooldown timer. You don't care if the boss does more damage if they never move. 
The downside to Remembrance is their ramp up time to achieve the Perma Freeze combo, and the path is very slow because it does not do much damage compared to other paths. Let's zoom out and compare my rating scores for all the paths. Abundance and Preservation are in S tier, both with an average score of 4. If I wanted a guaranteed successful run, I would choose one of these two paths. In the next tier, we have Destruction, Nihility, Propagation, and Remembrance. They are strong but also have a weakness that makes them harder to play. And lastly, in the B tier, we have Elation and Hunt. These two paths require too much luck to be successful. If I wanted a big damage run, Propagation or Nihility is just a better pick. At the end of the day, these are my opinions based on my gameplay experience. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.